Hello and welcome to This Thing's Got Problems. I'm Eric. Today I'm going to show you how to remove painted on pinstriping. Uh, this is off of a, uh, I guess I should have started with, uh, the thing that has problems today is this Harley Davidson Tri-Glide that has a bunch of painted on artwork. We, we can say very specific to the guy that had the bike and to resell it you know it's going to be pretty hard to find that person that likes that particular artwork so we're to take that off and this kind of goes with cars and really anything that's got painted on pinstriping you know you might see a little signature in the back with a scarecrow people in wisconsin know what i'm talking about i'm just going to run through some chemicals that i used and uh some plastic scrapers and it's basically it's not hard it's time consuming and um, it's not that big of a deal, really. You buy something, it's covered in, you know, whatever someone decided to, you know, personalize, cover their bike in. You can, you can get rid of it, especially on a Harley. They, that paint is pretty forgiving as long as it's factory. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, it is important to not just go at this stuff with sandpaper or crank your buffer up to three grand and stand on the thing, you know, and try to get it off that way. Because what happens is while you're also removing, like if you get your paint here, this is, you know, that's your, that's your artwork. You're trying to take this off. You're also taking everything around it off. So it's constantly, you know, it's doing this instead of, you know, wiping this out to level. Kind of hard to explain, I guess, but if you're taking the pinstriping off, you're also removing some clear coat around it. So it's always going to be ghosted in there. See it off to the side, like, the hell is it? would be little bumps of whatever it was. So take the paint off first, then give it the buff, and that will flatten it out pretty good. So, anyways, let's show you that right now. All right, so here we go, kids. It's nice artwork, but it's got to go. We're going to be using these three chemicals in some horrible, horrible combination that's probably going to take years off my life. Starting off with the prep ball. That's basically, you know, before you paint something, this gets all your contaminants off. I consider this artwork contaminants. So let's see what it does here. Yep. Well, it made it really clean. Okay, moving on. We're going to go to the acetone now, which is usually so good that it uh, absorbs your own body heat and makes your hands cold. Wear gloves with this stuff. It's not great. Probably shouldn't be breathing it either. Give her a little scrubby scrub. This is some of the hardest paint. All right, so we have some progress. This is, this is good. This is promising. You have the little buffalo elephant. Give it a little, a little scrub. What is that? I don't know. All right, so what I've noticed with uh, removing this stuff is like, there's a shine to this touch-up paint, this, well, pinstriping paint, whatever they used. And be, once you get rid of the shine, then you can, for some reason, scrape it. I don't know what's going on chemically here, but you scrub it enough to just kind of break through the shine seal of whatever is going on here. You can start, you know, scuffing it up. And then once it's scuffed, for some reason, maybe the chemicals can get behind what's going on even better. You, you basically, you just have to get it going. Once it's going, then you can make some progress. All 
All right, so we're going to go back, wipe this down, see where we're at. Hope there's some black, you know, popping up from behind um, Pangea? Whatever that continental... Whatever that is. There's a little bit. Now, we're going to go on to thinner because, well, you know, when times is rough. And get one of these, uh, these terry cloth cloths. Uh, they're rougher. They do a little bit more damage, as, you know, seen here. Now, is this going to completely haze up the black paint? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to buff this. There's no getting around that. I've now moved on to the soak the rag in thinner method and hold it on there as long as possible and then scrape method or something. And it does... Well, for, why is that white paint so resistant? The yellow is giving up. The yellow is like, all right, I've had enough. All right, okay, that's it. All right, get me out of here. But the white, that's going to be problems. Even the little feather thing. It's just holding on super thin. And yet, here we are. So a bit more progress. I've now taken most of the ass off of the buffalo down there and uh, getting rid of the grass it was standing in. The white, though, still holding out. You can see like the writing that's... Is that white? Gray? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's tough. Well, I, it, this is... This is taking some time. It's not hard. It's just annoying. Well, more soaking, more scraping, soaking, scraping, realizing the airflow in the building isn't as great as I thought it was. Scraping, soaking, scraping, acetone thinner, rotating. Starting to melt the plastic scraper here. Need a new one. More scrubbing. About 12 pairs of gloves in later. Because that eats right through. So at this point, I'm contemplating a lot of horrible life decisions, but back to work because you power through. It's what you do. And we're almost done here with this tank. Yeah, just about done. Now that outline you see there, you can see from the scuffing from the rag, you know, on the black all around it, that would have popped up had you just went at it with, you know, sandpaper or whatever. Round two, this is, it is tough, it is thick, two C's thick, and this will take some doing, just like the water buffalo and Pangea down there on the tank, this is going to take a lot of work to get this off this fairing and uh, make it, you know, so other people will want it, other than Vikings. <laughs> At a certain point, you start feeling woozy, wondering where you are. So then, uh, you know, run a fan. That's helpful. A little airflow. And then, you know, you look for... Eh, that writing's too small. I'm sure it's safe. Back to work. Finally, this some bitch right here is about done. So now we can move on to the writing.
Vikings have been defeated. Here you are. This is what's left over. You can see it's kind of, you know, there's a ghost, you know, image in there, but it's not raised, you know, so we're going to take a buffer to this. Boom, done. And you've seen that a million times. There's other videos. Go ahead and check those out if you want. And this is your final, uh, you know, project. Not, what am I saying? This is your final result right here. This is, you know, now a sellable to more than, uh, you know, just a particular type of customer. Threw some uh, Harley badges back on the tank. Why this style? Because that's what was in stock, that's why. And I think it looks pretty good. There she is, cleaned up. Ready to move on to the next owner. So thank you so much for liking and subscribing and all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully you learned something today. Whatever I may have learned, uh, well, the, the fumes, it wiped it right out. See you next time.